that are the best value and I can't bring you this quality. Right. And it is all about the quality. We are gonna call it sold out. Thank you for all your orders. Do not hang up. And again, if you have any questions, you can call us and our team will uh, be able to help you with that. But nobody will pay more than the 169. Very quickly, the earrings, last chance saloon at $69.98. Which is great. And these are great items. This is a great get out of jail free card uh, <laughs> item. Okay, I'm telling you, you know. <laughs> You know, like, this is so simple, and this is real South Sea Tahitian gray pearls. Okay, they're the real deal. Uh, they're, they're cultured, but they're the, the real deal. The finish on them is amazing, but it's that is a great, great price. And it's a great little pop of pearl. It's so elegant, so unique. I mean, you really, to tell you the truth, even that price, the, it, we worked really hard. Like I said, I work really hard to be, the only reason you don't see pearls is I can't do that. And yeah. I didn't even do the sale price. Yeah. The price I was selling it before was actually a good price. Thank you for orders on that one. We'll let you know when it's gone. Um, I love spending time with Jay and all of you out there with these jewelry <coughs> shows. The stories, uh, the journeys that Jay goes on to bring us these mine finds is just so enticing. It's exciting. It's amazing to hear. Uh, where they come from. Well, it is time for the big finale, the final hour of Jay's 46th birthday celebration. This is the biggest show we've ever done together. In the first hour, there were seven sellouts. In this hour, it will be the same. The biggest, the grandest, the rarest. We will talk about a true heart and soul piece. Never in your wildest dreams would you imagine you could take spiny oyster, combine the colors together and create a piece like this. It doesn't matter how much money you have, you would have to search the earth to find somebody who would be crazy enough to create as grand a piece as this is. You talk about a rarity, this is a rarity. Next up, and although I will not be revealing the price on this next piece or the piece after, I want you to see it. There is a cuff that we are gonna do that is a combination of rhodochrosite and, wait for it, rhodochrosite plus lapis. The combination of the two, you flip it over, you get rhodochrosite and lapis, two very exotic, special, important. Look at the quality again, though. If you're looking for an out of this world cuff, this will certainly deliver at a price you will not believe. Um, First of all, though, we want to start in a big way. As we celebrate the birthday, one of the things that Jay's always focused in on are uh, turquoises and opals. This is an opal, and it's a brand new one. It's called Rainforest Opal. Just the sheer mention of an opal conjures up such magic and majesty. Rainforest Opal. Where does it come from and how much is it? It is our first treasure to be revealed. Let's reveal the price of Rainforest Opal. You are the first anywhere ever on HSN to see such a thing, $95.98. Let me repeat, we have never featured Rainforest Opal ever in our 46 year history. We wanted to start this hour with a very special mind find. And Jay, when you attach the word Opal to any piece of jewelry, obviously it normally adds tremendous expense. We are under $96 for something that nobody's seen. You, yeah, this is a brand new mine find and it's rainforest, but that's because we didn't have enough room to put Brazilian rainforest. <laughs> <laughs> and this is, it's a, it's a really fun opal. It's a dendritic opal, mm. so it's very unique. Um, this is its debut. So um, uh, this is one of the things that I, I found. Um, uh, it comes from Brazil, it, uh, it's, and it's rare in this fact, okay? Um, I think I've, I buy four different opals in 47 years I've found. Four in, different. In Brazil. Wow. Four. That's not very many. No. Right. Um, and, you know, anybody who's shopped with us for any length of time knows that mine finds, if you don't know what we're doing, we're an extremely, extremely niche business. In fact, I don't know anybody, I'm not personally aware of anybody who actually does exactly what we do. I know a lot of people that do parts of what we do, and some of them uh, that come close to what we do, mm. but I don't know anybody really that does exactly no, what we unique. do. And where we're different is things like this. We go, in this case, a perfect example, I go right to the miner. We're buying it mine direct. We work from the raw material. These are materials that really are not commercially out there. They're not commercially available. 
We specialize, what's our number one specialty? Our number one specialty, turquoise. Yes. What's our second? Opals, Opal. opals from around the world. Turquoise, turquoise is from around the world. Opals, opal around the world. And then it used to be coral, that mm -hmm. kind of died out. So, I mean, then we always bring you new, unique and different. But our two main things that we specialize in are turquoises and opals. I don't know anybody else that actually has this opal. It's very subtle. It's kind of like a creamy, it it's is. not really coming off. It's more like a, almost like a creamy, um, like a butterscotchy kind of yeah. a creamy color neutral. to it. With a, and then there, it's got um, a dendrites, uh, dendritic uh, uh, material, magnesites that are growing through it, little dendritic trees. It's yeah. really a unique, unique opal. It's, it's, I, I really figured for the finale show, we wanted to do, you know, we wanted to do a new mine find. It obviously had to be an opal. And we wanted to do one that only a couple hundred people in America could own. And that's what this is. There are only, or there were only 200. There's now fewer than 100 left before it's completely sold out. Uh, special and rare and uniquely yours. Nobody you know will be walking around with a Brazilian rainforest opal necklace. And it has that feel that sense that it is special and it's in abundance. I mean, it's not like you've got this tiny string of beads. I mean, Jay, it's a, a lot of opal here. Well, and they're, if you look at them, they're all, what we do is we take the natural rough and they're all individually hand cut. Mm. So they're actually hand cut. And as far as this material and limitations, the reason that there's not a thousand of these or 2000 of these, right? Um, we got one barrel. So, I mean, this, this isn't some huge operation, right, where they're, I think probably the biggest, the biggest uh, tool that they had on, the, on site was maybe a wheelbarrow, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Very and, advanced. And it was not a really nice wheelbarrow. I mean, <laughs> it, it's just a really small opal. It was a really small cachet. Um, they re actually, what they, what's really strange is they specialize uh, in gemstones, uh, mm. uh, mainly peridot is what they specialize in. So this was just kind of a rarity for them to find this. Um, Jay, as you very well know, whenever producer Rick is on, he always has a producer pick. You know that. He's very involved in these shows. <laughs> Jay, he is going rogue, and he would like to show everybody. Oh, Rick going rogue? Now, that's something new. I've never, I would never think that. <laughs> Ricky's saying he's buying this for his lovely wife, Nancy. So we will show it, Jay. Um, okay, this is this is Rick's producer. Oh, yes. No, it's good, Jay. It's you like beautiful. This or what? Is this amazing? What? Do this is all rhodonite? Beautiful rose? Okay, not rhodochrosite, rhodonite. Right. Okay, in rhodonite, I mean, I'm, I'm just telling you, I have done rhodonite. Oh, wow. In 47 years, I've done rhodonite at least a dozen times in my career. A dozen times. Honestly, okay, honestly, in my life, this material, this rhodonite, is so clean. It's, it's, if, if you could have gem grade rhodonite, this would be a gem grade rhodonite. It, rhodonite, uh, they don't classify it as gem grade. This is by far the nicest, this is natural. I guarantee you look at this, this is so clean and the color is so clean that you would go, there's no way that that's real. Gorgeous. That that's gotta, there's gotta be something Gorgeous. done to it. It's real. I mean, it blew me away. This is a friend of mine that actually mines appetite for, for us. She came up with this. She found this material. This comes out of Madagascar. Now, not all the material was like this. This, again, that you're seeing here in the necklace and all the necklaces we did in this, we used the really super, super high grade. Um, now, can I get more of this? I'm not really sure. Um, I, you, this, the reason you're seeing this is because I didn't have any more. <laughs> so I said, okay, all I could do is break into the stash, right? So Reserve. I went and I had the, the uh, material, less than 5% of the material. The, the material was amazing, but less than 5% of the material was this great. It's gorgeous. Rick, you, I, I, look, you have good taste, so what can I say? The amazing She's going to love you for that. Yeah, I love it. the way it's, I, I did that design, but in, the way it just strands and just hangs on the neck is just amazing. It's so elegant. For 129 oh. as well. I mean, not only the prices are dropping, everything's dropping. Too. Everything's dropping. <laughs> and also, okay, what they're demonstrating is that the jewelry is durable. Yes! Yes! <laughs> we were meant to do that. Um, I hope you're having fun today. Jay certainly and I are, and we are just having a blast. Look, it's the end of the party. The party has to end. I know it's bittersweet, but it will. Mm -hmm. um, it w we're going to go out with a bang. Okay. I do just want to make sure all of America knows 
that when you are seeing Jay and I sat together, as you'll see in a second, behind us, there is a necklace. It's right there. Right I here. kind of feel like it's watching us. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it's watching over us. <laughs> this is how um, Jay and I are finishing the birthday tonight. It is a genuine As Your Peaks necklace. Uh, 15 years old is this material. Yeah, this is really collectible, guys. So collectible and big and beautiful. It's the last item of the show, and when you see the price, you'll understand why it has been watching over, over us this entire time. So Jay, you mentioned turquoise. Let's kind of, let's kind of dive into a, a theme of turquoise for a moment, starting with a Sonoran blue turquoise ring, the only ring we've done in the show. Sizes five through 12 available. It's like a jigsaw piece puzzle that you've put together. Yeah, these, you know, this is a part of our gallery collection, but just so everybody understands, all these designs that you're seeing here, um, these are all exclusive just to the Mind Find show. This is actually kind of a bypass style mm. uh, ring. But look at the quality of this. This is all part of our gallery collection. These are all individually handcrafted with some of the finest of the finest of the turquoise materials that we have in our private collection that just aren't available out there on the market. This is Sonoran Blue, but what's really cool oh, wow. with this is this particular material. Do you see, um, and this is one of my specimens. I just, this was so unique and so different. This Beautiful. actually goes in my specimen case. Mm. If you look at this, if you see those little, kind of like the little honeycombs, the white dots that are in the material in the ring, mm -hmm. the, that is what they call watermark. And that's what this is. This is what they call watermark. Watermark is in a very, very rare phenomenon that happens in just a very, very few um, turquoises that I've, that I've experienced or I've seen in 47 years of doing this. Mm -hmm. The watermark material, they even have watermark material like in the Kingman, the Sleeping Beauty, there was some watermark. The watermark is what the really high-end designers go for mm -hmm. where they've got a they've got a bracelet that is $25,000 right, right. wholesale, right, right. right? That that they go for this grade of turquoise. This is a really unique, unique, uh, not only design, but a unique uh, material. And as Adam pointed out, look at the work in this. It's look beautiful. at that three-dimensional oh. inlay on that. Think about the time, the effort, the skill that goes into doing that. We'll keep this out here in the background while we move on to our next piece, because they all kind of play so well together. This next one is Chilean turquoise. Well, th th there's a few things. I think we'll do the pendant first. This is the Chilean pendant. Uh, we have uh, hung it on the uh, uh, signature J. King uh, collar necklace, which is on sale for right, 129. The size here, just so you know, this is a 30 by 30, so it's, you see on Julia, this is massive, Jay. <laughs> okay, and this is, these are all cut, okay? That, that thing's about the size of a half dollar. Right. All right, if you just want kind of like, just a size scaling to it, that's a, so think about the size of the piece of turquoise that it took to cut that, right? These are massive pieces, they're all natural. Uh, I get, the only reason I did these is I had some Mondo nuggets, mm. right? I mean, they, they were really big, almost like uh, sea foam nuggets, but they were huge, they were massive. And so I thought, you know what? Um, uh, I'm going to cut the biggest cabochons that I can actually cut. Now, that being said, if you, if you went to Tucson, to the Gem and Mineral Show, and you saw a turquoise cab that was natural, mm. that was in this size, just the cabochon alone, and I'm not talking retail, I'm talking wholesale. Mm. The wholesale price on this by carat weight would probably be $250, two, uh, 220 to mm. 250 wholesale, okay. right? To get something this big. So look, if you, think, if you see the size in this, the depth of this, the weight, this is a grade of material that they sell by the carat, just like you would sell diamonds or whatever, it's all sold by carat weight. With only 60 seconds left and only 130 remaining, obviously turquoise, and we, we talk about this in all the shows that we do with Jay, it's that color that just resonates. <coughs> it speaks to your heart because no matter uh, where you're from, everybody seems to feel the same love for turquoise. Lighter skin, darker skin, it doesn't matter. What's beautiful is that each piece is so uniquely yours. It's not that this one's better than that one. They're all different, but the same, Jay. They're all perfectly okay, they're imperfect. Fr from the same deposit, but it just like anything. Yes. You know, this is, um, I do have some turquoises that, that are, are actually, 
um, you know, like they're so clean that they don't really look real. You know, mm. you think oh, that, that can't be real, it is. But what I love about the, I love the natural effect, the big thing here is the massive care weight and the overall quality of this material. This is Chilean material. Um, this is mined at well over 12,000 feet. And what, what I enjoy, like I said, turquoise, we're known for our turquoise. And I collect turquoise. And we, um, anytime that we can find a new deposit, we always, that's one of the reasons I travel the world. I travel the world to actually find new turquoises. And uh, right now, the only place that I'm getting any material out of is number one, Peru, which uh -huh. is brand new, uh, and Chile are the only two uh, areas that I'm really getting any rough out of right now. In 45 minutes, Jay is leaving us for a whole four <laughs> or five weeks. <laughs> five weeks. Gone. Yeah. yeah, for over a month. Yeah? Yeah. So I'm leaving, but like I said, so I'm leaving and I'm going over to England. My wife is British, but we have a home there. Mm. And, and in the summer, we live there. And uh, as much as I live anywhere. So, <laughs> Three <laughs> which, days at which, a time. No, no, my wife tells me, why do we even have these homes? <laughs> You're never home. So, um, but that's, that's her opinion. So anyway, I'm going there. I'm going to be home for four days. I haven't seen her in six weeks. Oh, my so gosh. I haven't seen her in six weeks. I'll be home for four days. And then I'm leaving. I'm going on a trip. I'm going, to, I'm going to 14 different countries. I come back. I come back a day for one day, and then I have our shows at the end yeah, of the month, three. Yeah. And then we're buttoning everything up, and then we're coming back over. So it's, it's really going to be a very interesting trip. So Sheila comes over in the wintertime. Obviously, you both stay here. Yeah, she yeah. goes over. She goes over. We always go uh, first, uh, first week of June. Yeah. And normally, she stays to the end of October, but she has some things that she has to come back for this year. And then she's going to go back for some events in November. I made the mistake going to uh, England for Christmas one time. Oh, yeah. And it's a mistake. OK. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. Yes. London's beautiful. All that. That's all well and good. Just like New York City. OK, yeah, wow, wow. OK, been there, done that, worn the T-shirt. I have never been so cold in my life, and I grew up at, in mountains that were 12,000 plus feet. It's okay. cold, Jay. And it is bone chilling cold. It gets dark at like 3 o'clock oh, in no, the afternoon. Oh, no, no. Even right now, do you know, like what we're like here in Florida, we're like 90. She's like, I call her up, oh God, 68. I'm gonna, <laughs> thinking about turning the, the heater on. Yes. Thinking about turning the heater on. I'm Middle like, of summer. <laughs> There's a heat wave all over the world, apart from England. Just but not England. Yeah. yeah. So we're the last ones out. Okay. Um, we're wrapping this one up. We have the cup available for $189.95. Notice that beautiful uh, open design that we love. Last call there, less than four dozen. There's the earrings. And Jay, you're going to say. Look at the color consistency oh, of yeah. this, though. But I just want to tell you, you know, a lot. A lot, a lot went into making these. And then also, like these cuffs, they, this, this is all drawn. This is what they call triangle wire. They actually, our silversmiths take the sheet material, they actually draw that wire. These are all truly, yes. when I say they're handcrafted, hand done, they really are handcrafted. They're hand done one at a time. And the key to us, like uh, as a niche business that mm. a lot of people don't have, in fact, the only one that I can really think of that I know personally yes. that really kind of manufactures what we do is uh, Jennifer, you know, the Chaco Canyon. Yes, yes. And they're using Native American silversmiths. But we use silversmiths. I mean, it's really become a, a, a lost art. So a lot of the designs that you see here, I don't think you can get a better finish. No then you can get by doing it by hand. And I don't think you can do the silver work any better than by doing it by hand. And you cannot do designs like this and do them right if you don't do them by hand. Coming up in just two minutes time, we are going to do our next birthday <laughs> treasure. The biggest orange and red, red and orange, spiny oyster shell necklace. You talk about something out of this world. It is on the way. Um, I know all eyes are still on the uh, necklace behind me. The As Your Peaks, it's the end of the hour. You will not believe the price on that. It's just, uh, it's the best way to end the show. I do want to put two minutes on the clock for this though. This is a very, Jay, you, would, you were going to show me something. You know, here, here's the thing that's funny about this. This is even different. I didn't realize. Yeah. This, but this is, oh, okay. Oh yeah, you've got the, oh, so, the uh, pearl. Okay, yeah, so. Look guys. All right. And this is, I'm, I, I'm, I'm native New Mexican, yes. and I say that for a reason, okay, is my, my parents brought me to New Mexico when I was six months old. Right. So I, um, I grew up there, never left right. <laughs> for a long time <laughs> until, I, until I couldn't take anymore. And, my, and then I started, my first venture was to Mexico. Um, when I was 15, 
and on a fake ID. Oh. <laughs> So that was my Don't first. tell anybody. My, very, my first. My mom knows it now. She found out in a hard way, actually. Um, uh, long it was a story. story that yeah, long story. <laughs> but this is based, um, you know, like when you, do, um, when you do crosses, and I've done a lot of different crosses, actually, this is different than what I was thinking. This is brand spanking new. This is a brand new cross, but it's based on the Zia symbol, mm -hmm. which is the sun, the Pueblo sun uh, symbol. If you're from New Mexico and you're and, uh, where in New Mexico, people don't know this, we have a lot of uh, Pueblo Indians, right? Especially along the Rio Grande, the river. I mean, a lot of Pueblos throughout the state and um, this is one of the symbols that they use. It's the Zia symbol, the sun symbol. It's actually the symbol of New Mexico, right? The, on is. the flag. Yeah. yeah. It's the Zia. Well, it so is available. It's based on that and with amazing, amazing red skin turquoise. 229, and it is. And, and the size there, I don't have the card on it, but you can see it's really beautifully done. I, I failed to mention but you all obviously get 30 days <coughs> on me. all the jewelry to try it and experience it. If you don't love it, you can return it for a refund of the purchase price. So don't ever feel um, that you have to keep anything. If you don't, if it doesn't make your heart sing, obviously return it. Well, <clears throat> that was full a few minutes ago and now there's only two left. <laughs> This is spiny oyster at its very finest. It's the only time we've done inlay on spiny. I think it's reversible too. Let I'm me pretty see. sure Let me it's see. reversible. Jay, look. Okay, look. so you could reverse it. You could. But the um, but this is the, the first time, it's first time ever, it's an experiment that we did. We're using orange spiny as our base color, and then we've inlaid, inlaid red spiny oyster. This all comes from the Sea of Cortez in Mexico, in the Baja Peninsula of, of uh, Mexico. It's really unique, and this is the very first time that we've used this material in this way. You can't feel where the red stops and the orange starts. It is hand done, handcrafted, and obviously you would imagine the, the sheer amount of spiny oyster that you've got, which is so protected these days, that this would be just out of, out of you know, realistic budget range. This could be many, 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 many hundreds of dollars. Well, Jay's history with spiny oyster goes right back to the beginning. And our price also seems to go back to the beginning because we're going to rewind the clock, maybe 46 years as we celebrate our 46th birthday. Let's reveal the next treasure because this price of 149 is something that I don't think anybody ever would imagine to be true. The look, the feel, the color, which is so distinctive. Money cannot buy how spectacular this really is. Five flex pay, $30. Obviously, we've sold out, I think, of all but one of our treasures so far tonight. I think it's the Rainforest Opal. I still have uh, about three or four dozen left. We're going to head over this way. Jay, I, I know that, you know, we talk about the business and how you started and where you began. But this must really get your heart beating a little bit faster. Well, there's, there's so many of these materials and a lot of materials that... I tell stories about it. I can't tell you all of the stories, <laughs> okay? In fact, I tell you a very, very small percentage. That's going to be in his just book. A, just <laughs> enough, yeah. No, I'm never putting anything down in writing. <laughs> I have an attorney that told me a long time, don't put it in writing, Jay. So um, I, I would just tell you, I can't tell you all the stories, yeah. right? But I got to tell you, this, this one warms my heart every time that I see it. But there's so many of the materials that when I go, it's... It's everything that you experience. Um, you know, that's why, you know, uh, what I try to do in my own way is, I, that's why, I, I, you know, I, I don't do it for every item, but I try to bring rough material. Yes. So you can actually see where this really comes from. You know, it's like we've kind of lost contact with, um, uh, just like my kids, they didn't grow up how I grew up, right? right. I, I grew up very rural, very raised, very rural. Yes. And um, like when I, when you take them to the supermarket, they think that chicken comes in those little packages like that, right? Day. That's how it just gets there. It just goes there. Or, or beef, you know, always comes in that nice thing. Or the vegetables are all nice. And the, no, no, it all starts. It all starts somewhere. And this starts um, in this in the Baja Peninsula in the Sea of Cortez. Uh, every time I think about this, um, I found spiny oyster um, quite accidentally when I was still in college. Yep. When I just, I really, now, I don't, I don't, didn't say I was in the jewelry business at that time, but I was in a way, we were making jewelry. We all did back then, yeah. okay? Um, people that were of my generation, you know what I'm talking about, yep. wink, wink, you guys know, <laughs> right? Um, but my hair literally was 
My hair was very, very long, and my hair was jet black, and a lot of it. Um, we used to uh, go from New Mexico, where I went to college, and the trips that we'd make, we would go down, take, we had this old Volkswagen van. We would all, four of us would pile in there with all of our scuba gear. We would all go down, we would go to a place on the west coast called Wymus, and we would also go to this uh, little village called San Carlos. And at that time, you can't do it anymore. But at that time, you could actually uh, camp on the beach and, and we would dive. Yeah. We wouldn't, literally, we took our spear guns <laughs> and we, if we didn't, if we didn't get, uh, get something of fish or whatever that day, if we didn't harvest something to eat, we weren't eating that night, right? Mm. Uh, we had plenty of beer. And we went in town to uh, charge our tanks, to refill our tanks. But it was just amazing. Like we would, uh, in the sea, uh, the Baja, the Sea of Cortez, we would be diving and yeah. the, the seals would come and dive with us. Oh and my gosh, and magical. That, that's when I found Spidey Oyster. Now, when we would be camping on the beach, yeah there would be piles of this spiny oyster. And when they say spiny, I brought it last time, remember? You did, like, you did shells, okay, yeah. uh, a few days ago I brought it. And I drew blood four times. Shock. Four times I drew blood mm -hmm. uh, just handling the Dane shell. I, I brought it where we hadn't mm -hmm. smoothed it off just so I could show everybody what spiny oyster mm -hmm. is. But that's when we found it. We found it on the beach. And there used to be massive piles of these oyster shells on the beach because the, the locals, it's a delicious oyster. It's a, a beautiful, delicious oyster. But they just would break them open and take the, the, the meat. That's all they wanted. They didn't want the, the, you know, the oyster. So us being us, and we all like uh, made, we made hishi beads, right? We would cut hishi beads, uh, cut turquoise uh, hishi beads, puka shell. But we thought, oh my gosh, this is shell. Yeah. It's here, it's free. So we used to load up literally this van and you could drive, and there would be little holes. Like you could drive, you could just you could drive. Barely see. You could barely see the hole to drive. We used to fill it. If you did that today, number one, fish and wildlife, you would get arrested. Yeah. But also you get arrested because um, now it's protected and you're not really allowed to harvest it. Um, but that's how I first got introduced to the spiny. And by us doing that, and I'm not saying we started the trend, but I'm sure enough of us were going down there that were making jewelry yeah. that all of a sudden you went down there and we were going diving just to go bring back some more spiny oyster. Yeah. And all of a sudden, nothing, no spiny. And then we started seeing it on the commercial market mm -hmm. where they were selling it. Now, that being said, uh, spiny oyster is not that easy to acquire. Right. Um, there's, a, I believe it's a dozen families that are still grandfathered in that can actually still die for it. And they only have two seasons a year mm. um, that they actually allow them to harvest. Very controlled in the size of the, of the oyster shell, everything. It's very, very highly controlled. But you can't just go down and dive like when we used to just go dive. Those and days just, are gone. You could just get it. You can't do that anymore. You can, used to be able to even... When you, you, you can't even pick it up. You can't, you're not even, you, can, uh, you don't even want to get caught with one. Wow. So um, it's, it is kind of a rare commodity. It's really unique. And it's one of the very few things that, um, that I get out of the Baja uh, Peninsula. That it's one of the very, very few materials. Uh, six dozen left now before it's completely sold out. It is reversible, so you can go for the all orange. Which or, I think is cool. It's gorgeous. Or you flip I love, it over. And I have to tell you, this is the first time that we've done this where we've done this I've never seen inlay. it before. No, I'm, it's actually a brand new thing that we're just trying out. I just thought it was a really kind of a cool look. It's the best of both worlds. I do want to tell you, we are 13 minutes away from the biggest moment of the entire show. Asia Peaks, no longer found, 15-year-old material in the biggest necklace featuring Asia Peaks will be done at a price uh, that is fitting of the grand finale. So be here in 12 minutes, whatever you do. I, we still have great things to show you, but I, I've been saying since 8 o'clock tonight that one thing you don't want to miss is Jay and I at the very end of the show. We're going to wrap this on up. Still to come, I have our rotocrosite and lapis reversible cuff. And on the way next, I think we're going to do this mosaic gemstone. We are, Jay, how much do we love this next piece? Okay, well, I love this because to tell you the truth, I would, in a heartbeat, this is all about me. This is me. Okay, I love this. I love the well, color of it. Well, I, uh, I need to blame you. There's only 80 of them. <laughs> Why is there only eight? This is like the most beautiful. Guys, look at this. See if you agree at home. 
This will be sold out in three minutes. It is one of the most beautiful, pretty pieces of the entire show. Jay, let me just quickly tell you that there's red spiny oyster, orange spiny oyster, purple, purple. spiny oyster, all of it. Yeah, it's and like then, a jigsaw puzzle. And then if you look at the quality, this is Campito's turquoise in this. It is amazing, right? Just the color combination, the work and craftsmanship in this. Um, this is uh, a design that I did, but this is like old school. It's this gorgeous. is what, and, and this has everything that um, everything that I love about jewelry manufacturing. We see that uh, they even finished the back of this. And guys, just so you know, you know how cool this is. Okay, this is cool, right? Look at this. I mean, these are really wearable pieces of art. But this is once in a this is once in a blue moon. Uh, it's the only time I've ever done it. And this is all purple spiny oyster. The beads here. Purple. It took forever to get collect this much material. Less than five percent, less than five percent of all spiny oyster is this purple color. It's one of the most limited. The orange is the most predominant. The red's the second rarest. The purple, literally 5%. Now, what's really cool with this, Selling you get out. all three colors. You get the orange, the red, and the purple, all natural, and then you get that really high-end, clear uh, Campitos Blue Ice Turquoise to really just set it all off. But just the color on this, I mean, if you if you are lucky enough to get this, or if you, if you really, in, you know, if you enjoy high-end gallery yes. type looks. Yes. This is something I guarantee you when you wear this into a room, people are going to look at this and they're going to wonder what the heck yes. you paid. Where did you get that? Yeah. This is more of a traditional look. These are the kind of looks that if you would have seen me 35 years ago um, and I was out selling and I was, um, I was selling to the different boutiques yeah. and I was selling the one-of-a-kind looks, this was kind of what I did. I loved a lot of color. I did a lot of this cornrow, three-dimensional inlay type designs, big, bold, but I like the brilliance. I like the color. You can't have things like this. I have, I, you know, I should wear this cuff that I have. Right. Um, and I, I used to wear it all the time and it got to the point where I almost wore it out. So I quit wearing it. <laughs> <laughs> so, but it is the ultimate cuff. Um, that I've ever th that I've ever designed, but it uh, goes along with this. If this, the, the cuff that I have that I wear uh, very sparingly now um, goes almost with the same color combination. It's another sellout. Thank you for all of your orders. Do not hang up. We are counting you in. It's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Wear it in good health. Um, we don't want it to end. Our birthday has been so much fun. Still to come, Sofia Vergara is going to be here on Monday. Iman is here tonight. There are hundreds of deals, last-minute opportunities that you can buy. In the next hour, I'll be, um, I'll be on with Aaron with the final quantities of our HP Laptop Today special. So there's really something for everybody. But don't miss out on the mega flex pays and the mega, mega price cuts that we have. Well, we know that we are less than 10 minutes away from our massive finale, the Asia Peaks turquoise necklace at a record low price for the Home Shopping Network. We want to go here, though, next. Our final treasure is being revealed. Rhodochrosite. Rhodochrosite. We saw a little bit of Rhodochrosite earlier, do you remember? This is a cuff that is a massively rated five-star customer pick. But wait a minute. It's not a Rhodochrosite cuff. It's a lapis cuff. No, 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 it's a rhodochrosite cuff. No, it's a lapis cuff. It's both, both premium, top of the line, beautifully done. Let us reveal the lowest price ever on this best-selling stamp 925 sterling silver cuff for our birthday party finale. <laughs> One, two, nine. <laughs> Jay, it's $129 on five flex pay. Producer Rick, how many of these are left? Oh my gosh, I wish there was 3,000. There's 370 left. We'll tell you the story of Rhodochrosite. I know you know how important Lapis is, but it's at 129.98 and FlexPay. Let's head over. Um, it's our final piece. Uh, I think we have about like eight minutes before we do the amazing finale of the Asia Peaks, which is right there. But Jay, this cuff and this design, you offered it in a few options, all of them reversible, but this was a mega star for you. This was a mega star on this, and with, with, of, of all the, that we did, I, you know, I, every one that we met did, all the different combinations we did, I loved them all 
in a way, mm -hmm. okay? But this was like having that special child that you just, yeah. you know, that really was the one you really liked the best, right? You liked all your kids, mm -hmm. but this was the one that really, really, you just thought, wow, you know, this is a jewel. Now, I want to, see, number one, just the design, okay? Individually handcrafted, you've never seen a design like this ever. Um, we make these, they're all made from scratch, um, but what makes this the megastar is this. Look at the quality of this lapis. You this is it. triple A grade. This, this, the quality of the lapis here does not get any better than this. Okay, this, it just does not get any better. This is triple A grade material. This is the kind of material that normally you would, absolutely nobody would be foolish enough to put it in silver, right? The only way you would see material like this is if you, uh, if you see it in gold or yes. in platinum, right? And even this, this is, a really high grade material. This is what I would love if I could get this. This is even, the one that's in this is even one step higher. You can see it, It's Jack. actually two steps higher than this, but this this actually is very, very precious because it's got the lazuli in it, it's got yeah. the pyrite in yeah. it. But this is just clean, clean lapis, pure, pure lapis, no lazuli, so no pyrite in it whatsoever. Then, you flip that over, and here again, left. you could actually do that on your wrist and this is the rhodochrosite. And look at the grade of rhodochrosite that you're looking at here, okay? This is gem grade rhodochrosite. This is triple A grade. What is, look at this quality, look at that quality. Yep, yep. This doesn't get any better for the rhodochrosite. Again, with the rhodochrosite, this is the kind of rhodochrosite that, which is very, very rare. That comes from Argentina, mm. from one location. Um, the, this quality of rhodoch uh, rhodochrosite is uh, what they really c considered uh, gem grade. Yes. I mean, it is the gemmy material. It's the highest end of the rhodochrosite rough, the highest quality that they do. So you not only have the highest grade lapis, you also have the highest grade uh, rhodochrosite. Um, and you're making a purchase, even the original price that we sold this for yeah. was a crazy, insane, great price, right? But think about this. Since we made this, silver's gone up $5 an ounce. Mm. Okay. <laughs> so the cost of the silver's gone up, right? Not gone down, right? You can't get the lapis. I still have the rhodochrosite, but here again, that is the most expensive grade that I have. Yeah, yeah. I have four grades in my warehouse, four, and I buy it directly right from Hector. I buy it right directly from the miner in Argentina. So I, you can't get any closer to source than I am on that source. And, um, but the beauty of this, you've got two amazing, super high grade materials in a custom sterling silver, hand done, handcrafted, handmade uh, setting. And then originally what we were selling this for, that, that was a stupid, crazy, crazy <laughs> price for what it was. Okay, now, they, it's like half of that, exactly. and silver, just silver went up five bucks an ounce since we made that. Okay, what we're demonstrating there, um, I, I will, I'm not gonna tell you, that's, that's a Pakistani friend of mine, I'm not gonna tell you where we're at, okay? Right. So, <laughs> but that is, I wish I could go back, if, I wish I could go back in a time machine and go back to these days. And what they're showing here, yeah, this was filmed a long time ago. That, that's probably filmed over 10 years ago. It's when we were doing that. And um, that, uh, that is this grade of lapis. Did you see that? I saw it. But that, I'm telling you guys, that's what doesn't exist. Those, Those days, days are gone. Are gone. Mm. They're, they're gone. And, but that's how I used to get my lapis. I would do two trips a year. And we would go through and we would sort it out. And you know what's so cool? They used to get, you saw that big metal container yeah, thing? Yeah, yeah. That's what they packed. They, they didn't charge anything right, for those. Right. Um, and then I'd bring them back, and they were in the cutting shop, and I used to have to give them away and stuff. It used to break my heart <laughs> because, like, but I, I have them everywhere for storage bins, yeah. right? But you can only have so many. Yeah. I mean, but every time they would give us new ones. It was crazy. And, you know, like, uh, those things you could have, there was a market. You know, like, if I would have had time, I would have sold them. Right, you know, right. they were really well made. They, and they were all made by hand, too. But that's... A thing of the past, it's gone. And just like this, I'm just telling you, in the lapis, on this lapis, this is the triple A grade material. The triple A grade. The rhodochrosite, same thing. The triple A grade rhodochrosite. Uh, I've got four grades of rhodochrosite. This is the top grade, right? Um, on the lapis, uh, there's, oh God, I've got probably 10 grades, but 
that is the top grade that's in this. That's the number one triple A grade. Mm -hmm. And even um, uh, higher than any of the other, it doesn't have any lazuli in it. Right. And if it does, that still is still a super high grade. It's, could, it's still triple A. It's just that it's lap, instead of just pure lapis like yeah. this is, yeah. it's lapis lazuli. So you get the best of both worlds. I know Jay just mentioned it, but you know, again, we get so spoiled with these deals. We came on air at $251, and that was an insane deal. For, for two cuffs in one, we're now basically coming in at nearly half off that. So now you're at 129. Just before, and folks, I, I, so everybody has a fair chance, please start to reach for your phone because we will be unveiling the Asia Peaks <laughs> necklace. It is in like three and a half minutes from now. We've waited all night for it. We will end in style as we say goodbye to the birthday month with Jay and I. I did want to spend a few moments here though, because Jay, anything that we've brought on air over this month in Lapis has seen extraordinary success. The reality and the scarcity is real. This necklace is bolder the most. It's bigger the most. And the price is one of the smallest versus most. Okay, um, this is high grade lapis. This is the lapis I've been talking about mm -hmm. today. Actually, this is the lapis lazuli. This is this That's material, that. high grade material, but she actually has the pyrite in it, which is like the little twinkle, the little stars. That's the lazuli portion. So it's lapis. In lazuli. So instead of just being pure lapis, and you can see the difference, pure lapis with no lazuli. Lazuli, you get the gold. Great comparison. The gold, or you get the silver color, right? It's still super high grade material. Okay, honest to goodness, guys, trust me on this. Okay, I did this. These are the kind of designs that uh, I'm so kicking myself that I did. And uh, there's a lot of people or staff members that kicked me as well <laughs> for doing this. Okay, I can't. I cannot help myself, right? I, I just, like when I see something and um, I just saw a big bold lapis necklace one day and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna put that on the show. So I right. used a bunch of my raw material and cut that. And so we don't have thousands of these. In fact, I was shocked when I saw this, Adam brought this and I didn't even know that we had mm -hmm. any of these. But these are the kinds of things, trust me, that you're not gonna see from me. now. I'm not saying that I know every lapis connection on planet Earth, right. but my lapis connections were really good lapis connections. Mm -hmm. And I always, I throw this out there. Anybody who has great, that has this quality of lapis and that you can do it in volume and you know, and that you're a source that you can, you know what I mean, that we, where we could really work together. Yeah. I, I'm open. I mean, I don't have any. I would we be want more. It. I would be more than happy, right? I would love to know somebody that's direct. If you've yeah. got a connection yeah. and you can get the material, this, but this material for me, in going into next year, mm -hmm. it's going to be very, very sparse, very limited on what I can do. I'm down to the point where I've got to save my cabochon material for my cabochons, mm -hmm. and the beads are just going to be. By only by size when we get down to what I know, the nitty gritty, and we're already down to nitty gritty, and they're all gonna have to be designed around size. Right. So there's not gonna be anything, I guarantee you, that's big and bold, and there sure as heck is not gonna be anything big and bold that's gonna be this price. If you do want the necklace, producer, did you say 300 left? 300, 300 necklaces and just shy of 100 of the cuff is what I'm being told. The difference here is this this necklace, which we wanted to feature in the finale, is just bigger. Yes, it's that 18 inches with the two and three quarter inch extender. But a lot of you have said, "Well, I understand about lapis, but I, you know, I, I want to buy the right necklace. I don't want to buy just any necklace." That is a universally appealing style well, that flatters any. Well, here's the thing: is the size too in the graduation on this, and this is a very you know, like if you don't have lapis, even if you have lapis mm. in your assortment, mm. this is something that's going to be a go-to piece. It's just like if, you know, um, if you have in your jewelry box, if mm. you have a strand of pearls, yes. you got maybe a high blue turquoise mm. necklace, you know, beaded necklace. Uh, maybe you have malachite, mm. onyx. Everybody needs something black or black tourmaline. Um, there are certain basics that you should have in everybody should have lapis I think is a basic and here again I'm not if you you know don't don't do anything crazy and you know like you know break break the bank or anything right. I really don't do that okay I it would break my heart but the, I'm just telling you things like this 
are things that you'll treasure forever. Mm -hmm. And these are the kind of designs that you can hand down. It's so contemporary. Here, here's the thing, that's never gonna go out of style. Ever. Right? In, Ever. I guarantee you in 50 years from now, that is still going to be as much in style as it is today, right? Things like these, these basics like that with the big, bold look. And this is one of the largest care weight uh, lapis necklaces that I've done in that quality of material. It's beautiful. And again, you can see the intensity of the blue. It is out of this world. It, we have it today, but if, as you know <coughs> from Jay discussing the plans that we have, we don't have a tomorrow. <laughs> Next year, the amount of lapis is gonna be a fraction of what we've had this year. Well, you know, it was really funny because I sat with a buyer and honestly, to tell you the truth, and we're old friends, I mean, we go back, uh, she was an apprentice a long time, you know, my buyer, that's what I love about her. She knows me really well, she right. knows the line really well, knows what we do really well. Mm -hmm. And, but we laid it out, she asked me, where's the lapis? And we had one piece. <laughs> one piece? It's not enough, Jay. Then again, that's what we will be saying next. With the cuff also nearly sold out, there are 75, you say, Rick? 75 of the cuff. It's Lapis and it's Rhodochrosite. Well, the moment has arrived. Our team and I are gonna get set for what will be uh, recorded and played out many <coughs> times over the years. This is the finale to our 46th birthday in the jewelry world. Jay King brings us As Your Peaks. You cannot find this anywhere. 15-year-old material. How much is it? Well, the secret is revealed after this. Global Chic is all about fashion freedom. New fabrics, patterns, and soft silhouettes with spicy details. So be free. Iman Global Chic, only on HSN. We love our gemstones to be beautiful, colorful, and durable. That's why we give some of them a little more love. Enhancements may require special care and may not be permanent, while others may last a lifetime. For more information, visit hsn.com and search Gemstone Care to see our Gemstone Enhancement Chart. Mark your calendar, because this Saturday is something special. How special? Super special. With 24 today's specials from your favorite brands. Tune in this super special Saturday, August 12th, only on HSN. Perlier is an Italian bath and body company rich in history and tradition. Never far from where it started. Perlier is old world skills mixed with modern day science. Driven by a focus to treat skin with the best ingredients, Perlier continues to develop innovative new lines while staying true to its culture. Discover luxurious bath and body rituals from Italian botanical gardens with Perlier. Happy birthday, HSN. It's been an amazing month full of joy and smiles and excitement and celebrities. The biggest and the best offers of the entire year. Uh, this is our final jewelry show of the birthday month. And this is our final item of the birthday month. And we wanted to make sure it was something that we would all remember. We know Jay's most famous, famous mind find is, of course, his extraordinary worldwide collection of rare and exotic turquoises. This one is out of Mongolia, and it is absolutely incredible. It's called Asia Peaks. Uh, this material you're looking at is actually 15 years old, a decade and a half. You can't go into a store in any city, town, or village in America and say, do you have uh, an Asia Peaks necklace or earrings? They're just not going to have it. When you buy a simple, small strand of turquoise beads from Jay, typically the price is around 139 to 159. If it's something bigger and bolder, the price goes from 179 to 279, typically depending on the turquoise and where it's from, the origin, the collectability and the uh, scarcity of it. As Your Peaks has always been on the higher end of those levels because it really is full of all the different colors that we love. Uh, it's that mixture. It has the eclectic style that we love. This one is obviously not a simple strand. This is much grander in style. Uh, it, it flares out to give you a very feminine look. So how much is it? Without further ado, the final item of the show. Let's reveal it. 
It's something for everybody. It's something we can all celebrate. The prize isn't 279 or even 229 or even 199. It's not even 99. It is 7998. 7998. It has all the things. It checks all the boxes. It's something that you can truly wear and enjoy, whether it's once a month or once a year. At $79.98, it is the least expensive of anything we've shown tonight. And the irony is, it's one of the most collectible pieces of the entire show. Five flexible payments of $16 gets it home. This will be a complete, and I mean complete, sellout, as you would imagine, at this price. Uh, HSN.com will get you straight through. You can scan the QR code to beat the rush. Already 200 people are placing orders, as you would imagine. If you just want to call us on the phone number, that's an easy way to get through as well. Our operators naturally are standing by. We've been preparing for this moment all week. Again, I want to thank the entire team behind the scenes that worked with Jay, obviously, and his team and I to put this birthday finale show together. 400 orders coming through as we speak. Let's quickly head over because this is going to go faster than we anticipated. Jay, we love traveling around the world with you. This is something out of this world. It's beyond out of this world. I didn't know that they were going to do this uh, price. I don't really even know how they're doing that, but that is uh, insane. <laughs> Um, okay, so what's the story on Azure Peaks, okay, and what makes this, this so highly collectible? This material was mined at least 15 years ago. Wow. And uh, the Azure Peak uh, turquoise uh, rough material, this is just, this is one of the pieces that's in my specimen case of this material. Um, the, this particular material, uh, it comes from the Gobi Desert in Mongolia. And we named it, actually, Azure Peaks because um, if you go... Um, if you go to, the, to where the, uh, this, this was mined, mm. there's these small rolling hills all the way around, and they're a beautiful azure color. I mean, it's just, depending on uh, the time of day, Picturesque. they turn anywhere from, they'll either be like a, a red wow. to a purple. Wow. It's the most amazing thing you've ever seen. What makes this really ma amazing and makes this highly collectible, this was the very first turquoise that came out of this deposit. This, it, it is now a huge open pit copper mine. They're not getting any turquoise out of it uh, anymore. Um, but uh, just so people know this, okay, um, uh, turquoise is mined in two ways, basically. One is, uh, like a lot of my Chilean mines, a lot there are a lot of my mines in Mexico where they're just mining the turquoise. They, they chase it, it's hard rock mining, and they're mining the vein. Right. The majority of turquoise mining that you see, though, that you see bulk, even mm. the Kingman mine is a perfect example mm. that's in the Mineral Park uh, uh, deposit. Mm. The, uh, they're open pit copper mines or iron mines or aluminum. They're getting their metals, right? Copper is the, the, the key thing, and that's what this is. It's a copper mine. But here's the crazy thing. You could have the largest copper mine on planet Earth, right. the largest copper mine, and not have one single piece of turquoise <laughs> in it. You could have the biggest iron mine and not. It, it's, it, but here's the thing, and this is how I found this. When you have turquoise, yep. you cannot not have copper, right. iron, and right. aluminum. There's 26 different elements and minerals that have to be present for turquoise to form, and a lot of very special. That's why you don't find it right. everywhere. So this was the very first turquoise that came so out special. of the Azure Peaks mine. This is what we call the surface deposit. This was the surface material that they had. And we thought we had used all of this. We were going in the warehouse one time, and we had a couple of pallets yeah. that were marked. It was marked Azure Peaks, and they were in five gallons, but they weren't on the inventory sheet. So we had somehow they'd gotten off the... Uh, inventory sheet, there were two pallets. We thought, I opened it up. We went, wow, this is the original material. Yeah. And so we wanted to do something spectacular. Ugh. I came up with this design, which I thought is something I really haven't done. Yep. This is all natural. It's all cut from the big pieces. It's all cut from big pieces mm -hmm. at your peak. There is no way to replace this. Nope. We used all the material that we could do. I'm not doing this price. I don't even know how they're doing this price. Actually, at our original price I would have been a blowout, scream-out deal. So I don't know how that happened 
or why they do it. I really don't, Adam. I mean, I, I can't even see that. If I told you just what the sterling silver enhancer costs, yep. and I can sell this rough all day long. I could have sold it every, all day long. And this is a natural green. Then, you know, as they opened up, they uh, got in there, and they, there was no roads or anything right, into right, it. Right. We got this, a geologist friend of ours is the one that turned us on to it and said, hey, we, I found turquoise. So, but he works, and I'm not going to name the companies, okay? Right. But if I name the companies that he works for, you would know, you would know who the heck they are, okay? Th these are major companies, and what he does is he goes around and he finds copper, um, lead, zinc, sil silver, gold, platinum, mm -hmm. palladium. Yep. I mean, that's what he's going for. But when he found this turquoise, mm -hmm. he knew there has to be copper here. So the way it stands, as you can see, it's flying out of here. With everyone on the phone line, I have 400 left, maybe 350, maybe 300. It is the biggest deal of the entire night. You can't, no matter how much money you have in the bank, you cannot go to a store and say, can I have some as your peaks? They're not going to have it. This is 15-year-old material. That this is, is so natural special. turquoise, real turquoise. This is natural turquoise. And to tell you the truth, this is collectible. But the turquoise rough material mm -hmm. alone mm. would sell for more yes. than what we're sending I, you the finished the finish product for here. And everybody knows it, which is why everybody's jumping on the phone to get it. A simple strand of everyday turquoise from a mine that is open right now, and you can get it from, we would offer on HSM for 129, 159, 179. For the bigger, bolder pieces, all the way up to 299, depending on what turquoise it is. To get a turquoise necklace like that? For $79.98, never in all of our days have we done anything like that. But we only turned 46 once. It's been an amazing month. I've been on air with Jay for multiple hours and every one of them has been full of good, great, amazing things. I told you this was the biggest show we ever did and it has been the biggest show we've ever done. And this is the biggest finale item we've ever done with already three, sorry, with only 300 now left with everybody on the phone. Last call, I wanna quickly show you because the necklace itself, 18 inches, but you have that extender at the back, right, Jay? And that gives us that versatility to change the length. Yeah, if, uh, you know, here again, if I just told you what this costs, and this is, we make this, yes. right? Th you can't go buy these, right? These are, we manufacture these, right. we make them. So if I just told you what the cost of that was, you'd go, how in the heck could you sell it? Because to tell you the truth, you couldn't. Right. I mean, th this is like, I don't want to say stupid, but yeah, like crazy, yeah. <laughs> whatever. I mean, you know, like it really is crazy. I, I, <laughs> even even the, the other price that we were going to sell it to, uh, even coming in, that hurt, right? right it right. hurt to do that. 200 but, left. Um, since I, I really, mm. I, I did, I couldn't really remember what we paid for the material. <laughs> and so we actually just thought, okay, let's do really something <laughs> special for the birthday. We made this for the birthday event, okay? So this was made special for this. If, um, if we could have done more, they would have done some kind of today special, for but sure. we, could only, we were limited to the amount of material we had. And so we were only able to do this. I really love the fact that people understand what a crazy deal this is. And here again, this is natural, this is natural mm. turquoise, and it's a rare turquoise. You can't even get this anymore. The material that even was coming out of the mine after they opened up the copper yep. mine and they started getting going down, it turned more blue. Right. And then we thought, we thought, okay, this is gonna be a great source of turquoise for a long time. And then they got down further and they just were, you know, we haven't, it, maybe, I'm not, I'm hoping that down the roads, Maybe it'll start producing again, but right now there's, and it hasn't been for a long time. We haven't gotten any rough material anymore. But the colors, Jay, that you see, and These obviously are, Julia has one that's different to mine. Right. The, okay, but if you look at, that's the thing. Uh, can we show the one on Julia? There you if go. you see there, look at that. So everyone is uniquely different in their own right. That's because they're natural. Mm. So you're not gonna, you're not gonna see yourself coming and going. You're not, you know, there's, even if, even if your friend gets one, if you all get one, you're all gonna have, there, it's gonna be the basic same design, yes. right? Okay, but they're all gonna have a unique characteristic all to themselves. Yours will be different than anybody else's. They're truly one of a kind pieces. We have about 150 left. I'm gonna place this down. We see you, make sure your order is confirmed. You just got the buy of the day in the world of jewelry. Forget that, the buy of the month in the world of jewelry. Jay, that flew by. And time flew by, you know, and I really enjoy working with you, honestly, I really do. I, you know, uh, you're, you're like my brother, you know, and I really enjoy working with you. And we're going to call you. I don't think I'm going to be able to get back to could be in the studio. You'll be in England. But I'll be in England But um, when we're there, and then we'll be shooting from inside my house, so I'll, I'll have Sheila 
come on for just a little bit and say hi. Will she bring you a cup of tea? Do you she'll, have tea she'll, in England? She does that. I don't <laughs> have tea. But the thing is, is you'll be able to communicate, right? She'll know you, what I'm saying, Jay. <laughs> yeah, she'll actually know what you're saying. Because half the time, I have no idea what this woman says. I can says. tell. I, I can I tell. Really, uh, half the time, I have no clue what my wife just said. <laughs> Honestly, happy we're marriage. supposed to be speaking English, but it ain't the reality. You know, you actually become a little Americanized. I got to tell you, man, I'm going to have to take you back in. Really? You gotta, yeah. <laughs> Because <laughs> I spent too much time with no, you. No, and he's drinking coffee. I am. I'm drinking coffee, not tea. I'm a traitor. Thank you, Jay. Thank you, you so much. Jay? Thanks, everybody. See you in a month. Stay with me. More after this. Perlier is an Italian bath and body company rich in history and tradition. Never far from where it started.